welcome back again to another video if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and of course i'm filming from accra ghana how are you doing so let's talk about these places that you may want to visit this period if you go to Kwewu. i recently made a trip to the east shout out to Igu eye for sponsoring that trip to Kwewu, where i had a chance to see Kwewu beyond the festive period it was not surprising to me to see Kweu the way I saw her the last time I visited. Her beauty was not tempered with, nothing was taken away from her authentic self. The only thing she lacked at the time I visited, I mean, just the last one I did, is the population that I saw the first time I did visit. That was during the Easter period where a lot of people were there to have fun. People came from far and near, you know, that. So, that is the only thing i didn't see this time that went it is okay when is that time people are going to come so now i'm going to mention some places that you should visit when you are in kweu kweu in ghana happens to be like a big deal for a lot of ghanaians i don't know the reason behind it i tried my best to ask why that is why because the day i went there that's last year when i visited what I was looking out for is, you know, to see a church or something, to see a lot of people parading with crosses, you know, acting Jesus Christ on the streets, doing a lot of things, preaching and holding recruits, I mean, uh, holding revivals and crusades here and there, because I had thought that that was what it is. But to my greatest surprise, I saw children of the world over there, myself i was one of them having fun you know having a good time going places just taking pictures making videos eating food not asking where christ is being worshipped at that time so it was exact opposite of what i have thought it was my own impression of the place anyways before i went there was that i just saw the zigzag road and i wanted to feel it i wanted to see if it's true on getting there it was true that easter of this year Kwewu will be happening on the 7th of april 2023 to 10th of april 2023 and if you have not booked for reservation i think you're not sure you're gonna go because if you have not booked after this video if you know you want to attend you want to be there you want to go there for anything for fun to mix with other people i promise you it's never a dull moment on top of that mountain see that mountain that mountain is not a dull moment so if you want to go have fun at Kweu, make sure you book for your reservations now book for airbnb book for whatever you can find around there don't be like me last year last year was a big struggle for me i struggled to get accommodation even though i acted like it was normal because this is africa and i i didn't want to take um it can't i don't like that word cannot i sure to try my best so i decided to go anyways to try my luck and then i tried and tried and tried and then finally found a place but not a place that i was happy about not a place i really liked but if you know me you know now nah, you know <laughs> you know i don't care i just wanted to be there to be able to do what i went there for and it paid off really good i'm grateful for that so if you want to go maybe not for content creating or you know maybe a content creator you want to go you have you want to have fun places to look out for in case i don't make it to Kweu this year mm, if i make it there mm, thank god if i don't mm. so in case you want to visit places that you should look out for please make sure you go there is number one on the list of all time you know now rock city hotel please try and visit rock city hotel get to see the beauty yourself like get to see that world class standard of hospitality when i'm saying that is it happens right from the gates the entrance as you walk into the hotel they greet you with a bum smile on their faces and they walk up to you respectfully asking you and then they offer to direct you straight to where you're going if you don't really know where you're going they always refer you straight to the reception if you're going to the restaurant they refer you there it's just so organized the workforce in there need to be studied i think because in ghana here i realized that workforce in ghana is a struggle a lot of people struggle with workforce i mean like human resources in ghana getting everyone to to the job it's not an easy task so i don't know how they did it there 
how they are doing it there so if you want to study that i think you should go and ask them so that is one place that i highly recommend that you visit their food sir so that's one place i highly recommend that you visit if you go to kweu this year and the second place on the list that i think and of course if you don't go there why are you in kweu by the way you shouldn't go to kweu if you can't make it to paragrading site that is where it's happening for me because i have phobia for height last year i could afford to fly if i wanted to have that experience the paragrading experience if i wanted it i could afford it that last year but if you have been following me for some time ma you know that i have phobia for heights i fear height past any other thing for this life you see bridge i can't even walk on a foot bridge and i don't look side like my side i don't look it i either close my eyes or just find a way to crawl through i don't like heights it's not something i like maybe that's why i have not really I've not fly before. I've never taken an airplane before. Hey, please, oh, if you want to take me to Canada, Germany, US, England, anywhere, don't say you said you cannot fly. Oh. If it concerns that woman, I can fly like a bird. I can fly like a fly. Okay? So I'm talking about flying to Lagos, Nigeria, flying to Kumasi, you know, places like that where I feel like I can save that money, use it when I get there, and I'm not in a hurry to go to these places yet. So maybe when I get to the point of me having to be in a hurry to catch up, maybe by then I'll have no choice but to fly. But for now, I've not flied. So maybe if you're like me and you want to conquer your fear of heights, you have phobia for heights and you want to conquer it, I highly recommend that you visit the paragrading site in Kweu. Try to dive in there and see what you can get. All right. The third place that I recommend you visit where you go to Kweu is please, what I'm saying in this video is places that I have been to, okay? So I wouldn't know about places I've not been to. For me, I feel like if you're in Kweu already, you should try your best to get to Aflam Plains just to see that natural beauty. Aflam Plains is a bit far from Kweu, it's about an hour away. You don't necessarily need to cross and go travel like i did okay just enter the ferry have the experience it's very fun last year when i got there i saw some people like me who just came for the experience it's something that i highly recommend you do when you go find time go there take the ferry cross to the other side and cross back and return back to where it's happening so these are places i recommend not just because you should take the ferry but i feel like that mountain those that view that side need to be seen and if you don't go there you will see it that is it another on my list that i recommend is abetifi the stone age park not really it's not like there's anything extraordinary about that place but i feel like it's one place i would like you to visit if you go because i visited and it wasn't bad at all because it's such an inspiration when you visit that place given the fact that that man single-handedly cleared the whole site that an abandoned site that was used for waste for him to be able to transform it from a refuge dome to a beautiful park that it is today is something that needs to be visited how things were back in the days before civilization it's just something that you should go it's a place that you should try and visit when you are in Kweu and just try and see how the rain comes you know i don't know if that is where the rains are manufactured but each time i go there it keep on raining i don't know and you get to hear if it's raining you get to have a choice if you want to be beaten by the rain or not if you want to be beaten, you just stand there. If you don't want to be beaten, you know what to do. So these are places that I highly recommend. All right. So there are lots of places that I've heard about, but because I've not been there, I can't say much. So when I do visit, if at all I'll make it this year, I don't know. I'm still contemplating, still thinking, still planning. If I do, I'll bring you back. I'll bring you guys more fun places that you should look out for when you go. And do not forget Coco, the mother of them all. You get to get to her before you go up the hill. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.